Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And this morning, I got something very special. I woke up to uh, read my news and I saw that WWE 2K Mobile is out for iOS platforms and I believe Android as well. Uh, $7.99 if you want to pick this up. It's a little pricey, of course, for an iPhone, iPad app. But I think there's a lot in this. Uh, we're just spending a few minutes with it here this morning. I want to give first impressions of this game and kind of the potential going on. I got it loaded up here on an iPhone 5S. I got it downloading an old iPad 3 uh, as well so I can check out what's going on here. And, uh, and this has been a pretty interesting experience so far. Let me just throw that brightness down a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Uh, but you see we got a lot of options here. We got stats, create, play. And you go into quick play and it'll pull you into a match. But if you hit play, you get a little bit of options. And uh, you get a single player match. And I'm just poking around here. Match type, we do have a little bit of selection. We got no DQ. We got a cage match. Um, and when you go into the superstars... I think it's a pretty modest selection, especially for a mobile game. We got, I mean, Bad News Bear, Batista, Big Show, Wyatt, uh, Hulk Hogan's a part of this, Brock Lesnar's in it, John Cena, uh, the, and they're using a lot of the wrestler themes. You know, we've had versions of these games on here, really kind of slimmed down ones that had really fake versions. If anybody downloaded WWF or WWE WrestleFest when that's still available, I'm clashing onto that on my old iPad, by the way. But uh, it, but it looks pretty cool. So like here, let's pick. Uh, I got. I'll be Seth Rollins, and we'll take on. Oh, I don't know. Hulk Hogan seems like uh, we'll be Hulk Hogan. Yeah, sure. Why not? Against Batista, and we go ahead and uh, wait, 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 we go ahead and how do I get going? <laughs> we'll back out of here. And then we also have career options as well. You got a Hall of Fame thing going on here that we can get finish it with 300 respect or more. You can be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Um, and you can build up some stuff there. You can be a new character. And uh, actually, there's a little bit of customization in here, which I know people really love on the console versions and we actually get to do a little bit um i haven't seen if there's any kind of downloadable thing it, it, that'd be really great if we could you know download other people's um creations on here there's a multiplayer there's training um that's one thing when i popped into quick play real quick and it will just drop you into an arena all four of the major shows smackdown raw uh main event and superstars uh, it was funny quick play actually popped me up with uh it popped me up with uh, Sting versus Rusev on WWE Superstars to start off with. And the entrances are pretty intact. Now, I mean, they don't go into the ring or anything, but even you see right here, uh, Roman Reigns coming down from, from the crowd. And that's it. It just kind of fades out from there. Uh, but I figure with this version, I think that's, that's definitely suitable. Um, interesting, though, as we're finding here... Uh, there's the shield members are st they're still shield members dean ambrose also coming from the entranceway so i i wonder about um what the cutoff because i mean we gotta think that was nearly a year ago that we had that now the controls are kind of interesting and i think there's going to be a huge learning curve when it popped up there was a tutorial mode and the it was extensive in the list of things for you to have a tutorial on and you're not going to be able to jump in and just play this right off the bat i'm having trouble i kind of kind of can't figure out how to move around if you've been playing the wwe immortals games or, or mortal Kombat or injustice on mobile you know there's kind of a swipe thing going on you see it's going to prompt you a little bit here as well uh, there's like kind of some uh, uh, specialized swipe controls but once you get into them uh, once you figured it out it, it's it's second nature to do it on a touch screen and i'm hoping that's going to happen here but looking so far Far. This looks like it could because I was, I was trying some gestures and it, it started coming up with some of these prompts that just look completely alien to me. So I think it's going to end up being about as complicated as you find it uh, on the 2K games or, or previously the just the WWE games. Um, on console you know i remember every year it seems like i have to learn a new method to apply a hold and uh but but as far as an iphone game and this is i think certainly the best looking wrestling game certainly that that we've we've dealt with here um and uh hopefully these controls are something that we can get our get our hands on and, and and wrap our heads around and really have fun with this thing and i'm really looking forward to it as somebody that does not have an xbox one a ps4 um you know i like that you know there there is this option and, and it's gonna it's not gonna have all the features but i don't think you can expect it to at this point as uh dean ambrose is kicking my butt here um but it's definitely an option go check it out it's available right now on the ios store for 7.99 
And uh, I, I, it's, it's really cool to see that. Out. I thought it was coming out a little later, so it kind of uh, uh, blindsided me a little bit here. So go check that out. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Did you download it? It's $7.99, a little bit of a price jump for you to uh, be able to jump on that. Um, let me know in the comments of this video, wherever you're finding it, at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or over at our friends, InsertCoinToBegin.com. I try to slide all everything video game related over to them. And they have a lot of great stuff going on, including guys from uh, the wrestling shows uh, doing a lot of great articles about uh, video games. And uh, check me out on Twitter at Sorgatron. And please check out our friends, PittsburghWrestling.com and BoldPittsburgh.com. Uh, PittsburghWrestling.com just recently released the digital download for Night of the Superstars 4, including Kevin Nash, Ric Flair, uh, the great Matt Seidel against DJ Zima Ion. Great stuff. Go check it out. It's individual matches for $1.99 or the entire show for $9.99, and you can get it right away on digital download. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.